Everyone has an opinion about Canadian federal politics. Oh, yeah. Canadians I talk to are horrified and disgusted by what happened with the ArriveCan app. Do you think those feelings are justified? Uh, the, we acknowledge that the governance that should have been in place uh, for an IT project of this nature was... Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in. My time is tight. That, that wasn't my question, right? My, my question was, Canadians are horrified and disgusted by what happened with this app. Do you think those feelings are justified? Hey gang, what's up? Just Aaron right here, Question Period Canada. How y'all doing? So another committee meeting. We've got Garnet Genu up in the batter's box. He has demanding questions. And you tell me if this witness is incompetent or difficult because she doesn't seem to be able to answer Garnet Genu's questions, which are quite simple to answer. Like they're almost yes or no questions. And she gives the answer why. Like, let's take a peek. It's always interesting in these committees. It's important to investigate how these scandals and scams happened. The Arrive Can Scam app. Well, let's get to the bottom of this. Garnet Genu is trying the best he can. Let's take a look. Let's take a peek. Uh, Thank you, Chair. Turning now to Mr. Genuous, uh, you have the floor for five minutes, please. Thank you, Chair. What we've seen from Liberals thus far in this testimony is, is quite incredible. They're trying to limit witness testimony by moving motions in the middle of their testimony. Uh, liberals are also trying to question the core principle of ministerial accountability. They're trying to suggest that ministers are somehow not responsible for what happens in their department. Uh, and this is, is really unprecedented. I think it's, a, it's clear that in our system of government, ministers have been responsible for what happens in their departments for hundreds of years. But uniquely, liberal ministers think they're not responsible for what happens under them. Uh, Ms. Jeffrey, I want to ask, Canadians I talk to are horrified and disgusted by what happened with the ArriveCan app. Do you think those feelings are justified? Uh, the, we acknowledge that the governance that should have been in place uh, for an IT project of this nature was... Sorry, sorry, sorry I'm going I'm to jump in. My time is tight. That, that wasn't my question, right? My, my question was, Canadians are horrified and disgusted by what happened with this app. Do you think those feelings are justified? I think that there were many dimensions to the ArriveCan app. I think that there was value in terms of the uh, services that were provided. Sorry, do you, do you think Canadians are justified in feeling horrified and disgusted? I can't speak to how Canadians uh, view the app. I can speak to the governance and the project management that was put in place. Okay, that, that's a pretty clear non-answer, but we'll move on. Uh, there's a remarkable absence of documents, uh, including records of basic communications uh, that you would expect in a case like this. Did you or anyone else at the Public Health Agency of Canada destroy documents related to ArriveCan? I have no uh, knowledge or evidence of documents having been uh, destroyed, and uh, we have a policy that requires information of business value to be retained. So, so you can't say that they were, and you can't say that they weren't, in terms of your own knowledge of documents being destroyed. Is that correct? I can say we found no evidence of documents that have been destroyed. Okay, but there, but there is there is such a glaring absence of documentation. Uh, are you concerned that documents may have been destroyed? Do you think it's plausible that absolutely no records were kept in so many of these cases? What I can say was it was a time of uh, great change at the agency as we responded to the pandemic. No, but people still have to talk to each other, right? I know. Ma'am, I, I, I know it was a, 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 an urgent situation and lots w was changing, but people still have to talk to each other. People still send emails back and forth. Uh, in, in times of urgency, there, I would expect there, there would still be a lot of communication happening, and yet there's, there's such an absence of, of information. Um, are, you, are you concerned about the destruction of documents, especially with reports uh, alleging Mindone destroying a large number of, of, of emails? And I know that wasn't PHAC, but... But are, are you concerned about destruction of documents within the Public Health Agency of Canada? I agree with what the Auditor General um, has uh, recommended, which is that uh, documentation needs to be provided and to be maintained on file so that when you have uh, change and turnover and personnel, okay, that, that's, those that, records that, that's, are maintained. That, that, but that's not no really an answer to my question. Can I, can I just quickly flip over to the Auditor General? Um, if you can confirm your previous testimony, the complete absence of documents suggests that either 
there was a, there was a conspicuous lack of records kept or the documents were destroyed, that one of those two things happened, but you weren't able to confirm which. Is that correct? Well, when documents don't exist, it's either they never existed or they they were destroyed. So and in this case, we can't tell you which it was, but there is um, a glaring lack of documentation that should be maintained. Thank you. Back to the president. The app went through 177 different versions, most of which weren't properly tested. Uh, you, you owned the app. So why weren't different versions of the app tested? Why did you not insist on proper testing of the app? in their testimony that uh, the in order to increase the speed with by which the versions would be deployed that uh, they were not all tested so you were aware at the time that they weren't being tested and you were okay with that the um, the governance around the project management at the time uh, looked at how the apps were being deployed. Um, and Sorry, I'm, 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 I'm looking have. for I'm looking for clear. Uh, Ma'am, I have limited time, and I'm looking I'm, for clear answers to I'm clear going questions. I'm going to turn to my colleague over, Luke Brisbois no, from the Broder Services. Over, um, over. Board. No, no, no. I want to hear from PHAC. Over 10,000 people were falsely sent into quarantine because this app was, in most cases, not properly tested. Are you comfortable with that? And did you brief the minister about the lack of testing? So it's very regrettable. Um, we're obviously not comfortable when people are erroneously advised. In this case, when they arrived in the country, they were given a green check mark, which means they are cleared for entry without isolation periods. There was then an error in the app that resulted yeah. in messages being sent uh, out. The public okay, health I, I'm agency asking was about this. Mr. that is your you time. With the lack Mr. Of Genius, testing? that is your time. Turning now to Miss Yip, you have the floor. For so, gang, what do you think of that? Garna Ginu is a cowboy, but it's so difficult to get answers in these committee meetings. He is asking the right questions. Canadians are fed up. There are so many scams and scandals increasing the cost of living. How do they expect Canadians to get by? Like, my grocery bill is so much more than it used to be, but I eat not as healthy. I don't eat as much. I'm 5'10", I weigh 145 pounds. I mean, I didn't used to. That's just the way that it's been, and I'm sure I'm not the only Canadian that feels this way and has been struggling with the financial times and just the frustration of being lied to to your face by this corrupt liberal NDP coalition government, all of these scandals and scams with government Ministers, it's ridiculous. We want an election, we need one now, just for our future. My name's Aaron, this is Question Period Canada. Please like, subscribe, share, comment. I do love the comments. We have a live show, we do lots of short videos and other videos, so check us out. It's worth worth a look for sure. Anyway, Aaron, Question Period Canada. Like, subscribe, share, get notified, all those fun things. Please leave a comment. As I mentioned, I love the comments. We'll catch you next video. We're covering all the committees. We'll see if there's many of these pop up over the summer break. We'll see. We'll catch you next video, guys. Thanks for watching.